Chris Colley. I am in the rubber room and it's a more fun Monday evening here. I'm gonna hop on and make sure I'm in the right spot. You guys know this drill because you know me and sometimes I'm in the wrong spot and sometimes I'm upside down and sometimes I'm just all over the place. So we're gonna make sure I'm in the right spot doing the right thing here. I hope you guys all had a great day today. It's been very, very cold here in Michigan, and we don't have any snow, which is a good thing, but um, when it's this cold out, we could have snow at any minute, and the cold is, you know, if you're in Michigan, cold is cold, and you're used to it. So, okay, it looks like I am where I'm supposed to be. Very, very crooked, so I'll see if I can straighten that out a bit as we go along. Tonight we're actually going to do um, some celebration cards. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Right now though, this catalog is live, so you can order from it. And I do have some upcoming classes where we're going to make items with, um, or make cards with items in this catalog. So I'll share that with you again. I've been sharing these over the past week or so. Um, January 22nd and 23rd, I'm going to have classes on both the Saturday and the Sunday from 1 to 4. And we're going to make three cards in each class. Each class is $15. And you're going to make two of each of these three designs. And you can get a free class with a minimum $25 purchase at class. So the first class we're going to do is called In the Moment. And we're going to make these three cards. Hi, Carol. Thanks for sharing and watching us tonight. So we're going to make this one. And this one. This one has kind of that fun fold in it. And then this one. And this is going to be a new blending technique. Um, with the chalk markers on it. So that's going to be our first class called In the Moment. The next one is going to be the Hello Ladybug, which I think is one of my favorite sets. I just love that cool little smile on that ladybug's face. This one is a bundle that comes with a coordinating punch. So this is card number one and card number two. And then this is card number three, and it again has kind of a little fun fold with it. So that's our second class, and it's called Hello Ladybug. And then the third one is going to be with the um, Rainbow Stamp Set in the Sunshine and Rainbow Designer Series Paper. I just love this, these really bright, happy colors, especially now, like I said, it's very cold out and these just remind me of summer and having a little bit of fun. So that one, and then this one, and then this one. So you can take one class, you can take two classes, or you can take all three classes. You have three hours, which is plenty of time for you to finish all three classes if you wanted to do that. Okay, so tonight we're going to work with this stamp set, and it is called Awesome Otters. And there's actually six stamp sets in here. It's free with any minimum $50 purchase. So you have the three different otters, two sentiments, and this little party hat. And we're going to use all three of them tonight. Um, this is one that you do have to color, so I did do some of the stamping and the coloring beforehand. I'm going to grab my Big Shot real quick before we get started. I meant to do that before I went on because we do have some things we're going to be um, embossing. We got some great new embossing folders in the new catalog, so I'm excited to use those. So this is the first one. This one was made by a friend of mine, um, Claudia Hackett. And we're going to do a couple changes to, to it. Um, when I do my classes, I like to focus on one accessory, one ribbon, and then the um, stamp set. So I'm going to swap out some colors here. And we're going to use all papers tonight from the Sunshine and Rainbows pack of 6x6 six six designer series paper. 
I'm going to use a couple different dies that she did. But this is going to be the basic card that I did case for tonight. Okay? So, I have my pieces here. And we're going to use this embossing folder. But I didn't get the right plate for that. Um, this is the gingham embossing folder. So, it's going to give kind of that background look to it. So hang on, let's get the embossing machine in here. We'll bring it in. And I've already cut my piece of cardstock. And it's going to be a five and a quarter by four. And I am using pool party cardstock tonight. So I'm just gonna take my little five and a quarter by four and put it inside my embossing folder like this. And then your embossing folder always goes in hinge first. So this is gonna be your hinge right here. And we're gonna put that in first. This is a regular embossing folder. So I'm going to, using with a standard embossing folder, I'm gonna go one, three, and three. So I'm gonna go one, three, my embossing folder hinge first, and then another three. And you're gonna have a different sandwich with whichever kind of embossing folder you're gonna use. There are two kinds, one is a regular and one is a thick. Um, it's got the thick one is called a 3D embossing folder. Okay, so that's what we're going to use this one for. We'll get it out of the way. All right. And you can see what a nice impression that gave us. So you have that really nice kind of embossed image there that is kind of a... Um, paisley look to it okay so we have our card base which is five and a half by eight and a half and we scored the eight and a half side at four and a quarter and we're just going to burnish it with our bone folder here and then i'm going to take my embossed piece I want to make sure you guys can see me. And I have four pieces that are cut one inch by three inches. This particular pack of designer series paper is um, six by six. So this gives you a nice even cut right at three by three there. Okay. And I'm going to put these up on some dimensionals. So I'm just going to bring my dimensionals in put some dimensionals on the backs of them. I hope you guys are enjoying this catalog. Both of these catalogs had some amazing things in them. Um, the one goes January to June, so we have a long time with that one. This one, however, just goes February, or January and February. So you'll see me work a lot with this one while these are current items that you can still get for free with your purchases. Remember that you can always earn celebration items with your prepaid paper pumpkin subscription and your paper pumpkin subscription if you want to get in on the january kit must be placed by midnight tonight the 10th okay so that's just something to keep in mind so let's bring this piece back in and we'll peel off the back of these little dimensional so it'll stick on there I am feeling so much better, you guys. I got my voice back, which is always nice, right? <laughs> it was a little hard to listen to me this past week, I think. Um, but the antibiotics have kicked in, and I'm feeling a little bit better each day, a little bit stronger, which is about all you can ask for. Got a little sinus infection, and I am... Um, well on my way to being a hundred percent again 
So we're just gonna kind of crisscross these a little bit, get a fun little kind of direction going to them. This pack of paper has so many really cool designs to it. And um, I think I'll go this way here. But we're gonna focus on what's uh, um, the um, pool party so that all of it, we can use pool party ribbon, we can use pool party cardstock, we can use our pool party blends. You're just gonna get it all going on, right? Okay, and let's see. We have some words. And I'm sure that we have a little, a little guy somewhere here. Okay, I can't find my little otter. Here he is over here hiding. So I used one of my stitched rectangle dies to cut this little otter out. And this one came from the um, Tasteful Touches die set or bundle. Okay, so those are the two dies that I used. I'm gonna try and get this close so you guys can see. It has a little bit of like, they look like water droplets. And I did use some, after I colored it with my blends, I used some of my shimmery crystal effects. So it comes in a tube like this and you squirt it out and it hardens and it gives it kind of that glassy, glossy kind of finish. We're also gonna be using this in the, um, in the moment class that we're doing. It gives it just kind of a shiny little look to it. Adds a little bit of dimension, so. I'm going to just tape this down. So I'm gonna put my Stampin' Seal on there. Get it started here. With your Stampin' Seal, you wanna always use it up like this. And we'll put our little guy right here. And then I'm gonna put my uh, words up on dimensionals. I'm gonna put them like right there. going to give it a little bit more depth to the card and kind of give you some place to look there. All right, and then I'm just going to put some stamp and seal on the back of this. And again, use it straight up. And you don't want to do too too heavy of a touch or you'll peel that cardstock right up. You want just kind of a light little touch with it. I'm gonna make sure my card is going in the right direction. We want it to open this way. So I'm just gonna put this down here. There we go. And we're gonna be using some iridescent ice, little rhinestones on my empty packet here. And Use my little. And these come in three different sizes. So you have a large, a medium, and a small one. So I'm just going to add some little small ones. You can use your take your pick tool for this if you want. I'm just going to use my snips because I can find them. And I'm just going to kind of sprinkle some around here. I like to use three because that three is more pleasing to your eye kind of routine there. An odd number is always more pleasing. So you want to do three or five. And I'm going to put this one up here. And then I'm going to take some of this ribbon. We have this gorgeous ribbon. It's just sheer. I think that is so pretty. I like to give guys lots of ideas and options because once you've spent your money on that spool of ribbon and that pack of cardstock and your pack of gems, I want you to be able to see some different ways that you can use it. These are great things to buy so you get towards your $50 purchase where your stamp set is free. So you could buy your blends, which we use for coloring, and your ribbon and your gems. 
And that gets you a good start on your $50 purchase so that your stamp set can be free. You might want to add in, of course, your shimmery effects. I'm going to add a little uh, glue dot to the back of my bow and put it right there, okay? So this is our card, you guys. I hope you like it. I, I like the little bling that it gives. I like the texture from the embossing folder. The sheer ribbon is really, really pretty, I think. So this is the one that I saw that I liked that my friend Claudia made. And here is how we cased it or revised it. So you can see two different, and basically it's the same card layout. We've just used some different pieces for it. Okay. And so our next one is going to be this one here. And we're gonna use, again, some um, different paper and different die cuts and some different color. We're gonna take the twine and use some ribbon with it. So let's get started, shall we? Here, it did take the liberty of already embossing my um, card base. So this card base is again, five and a half by eight and a half. And we've taken the eight and a half inch side and scored it at four and a quarter, and then just burnished our score line here. And then I put it through with this embossing folder. This embossing folder comes in a two pack, and it actually is made for the mini cut and cut and emboss machine, but it can be used on the big cut and emboss machine also. So it's stripes and I think droplets maybe? I can't remember what the other one is called. Um, oh, I just opened the package. Let's look and see. Hello, Chris. Stripes and splatters. Okay, so this is the striped one, and this is the one that I used here. So I did open my card base up, and I put my embossing folder right at the edge there where the card folded over. So that's how I got that embossing there. Okay? And then I chose this piece of designer series paper and you can see that's going to give us two kind of stripes there one is that that real fine stripe and then the wider stripe from our embossing folder okay so i am going to wrap a piece of ribbon around here so i'm just going to measure it like this and cut it and then i'm going to put glue dots on both ends of my ribbon we use lots of different dies for this one. On this particular card, we used the um, layering circles dies. And the layering circles have circles, and then they also have scalloped circles that layer right on top of them. So I'll show you those in just a minute. But what I'm gonna do is lay my ribbon right at the edge of my card, or I'm sorry, right at the edge of my designer series piece of paper and then fold it over the back and hold it down with some glue dots. And I'm actually gonna move it just a tiny bit. No, I guess I'm not. Okay, so then I'm just gonna take my stamp and seal and I'm gonna add my stamp and seal right over top of that ribbon. I want that ribbon to be stuck down really good. I don't want it to fly up off the base of the card. So I'm just gonna Add some stamp and seal in there. And then I'm gonna put it on my card. And this piece was cut at five and a half by three. So it's gonna be the same width as my card base is, okay? And then these are your scalloped or layering circles. So you can see there's um, 16 of them. And so one just layers right on top of the other one. So there are a lot of circle dies there. And they're lots of fun to use, but I really, really enjoy that layering look. That just makes it perfect. So you have your little piece of um, basic white cardstock, 
and I stamped in my memento ink and then colored it and it just layers perfectly on top of that little circle die. So I'm gonna take my Stampin' Seal and when you're coloring with your blends, you always wanna use some scrap paper beneath it because as you can see, um, your color bleeds right through your paper and you don't want that to go onto your card base or anything else you're working on. So always be sure when you're coloring with blends that you have some um, scrap paper underneath you, okay? And then I've used the same die and words that we used before. I'm gonna put this on just with my stamp and seal. I'm not gonna pop it up. I guess I'll put them in here. And then I will pop my sentiment up on dimensionals. Okay, so I'll use two dimensionals and pop this one up a little bit. And we'll put that there. And this, if you can't see it too good, it says you are utterly awesome. Okay. I actually am going to stick a little glue dot under there. I'm going to put on my scissors and just stick it. Oh, that was really good. Stick it underneath the edge there. I must have missed that with my stamp and seal and it was kind of bothering me up like that. Okay, so then I'm gonna bring my ribbon in because I bought this whole spool of ribbon and I wanna use it and I love bows. You just, and you have all this ribbon that you added there. So I'm gonna kind of bring it in and add a little bow right up here at the top. Actually, I might move my bow down there to where my words are. That might be kind of fun down there at the bottom. Okay, so I just do my bunny ears and then put my, I'm just putting my finger, my forefinger and my thumb where that little circle is and pulling it until I can get it even. And then I'm just gonna play around with it, kind of manipulate it a little bit till I get the right size that I want. This ribbon is pretty soft and forgiving, so. And I actually think I kind of like it up there. What do you guys think? Maybe down there. Yeah, I think I'll make it smaller and put it down there. And if, in that case, you really don't need this piece of ribbon back here. But we've already got it back there, so I am gonna leave it. And I'm just gonna pull this a little bit to each side. And then cut it with the mess snips. And I actually think that ribbon that I have on there, we can put um, some of these iridescent gems on. That might make them kind of pop a little bit. So let's get my glue dots in here. And for these, when I colored them, I used the same color blends on all of them. Okay, there we go. And then I'll put some bigger ones on here, right on top of the, let's get this out of here, that little ribbon that's there. And I think I'll use the medium sized ones. So I'm gonna put one in the middle and then I'm just gonna put one on either side of it. And then I can kind of make sure that they're all in a straight line and that they're spaced. Kind of how it's spaced evenly there. Okay. And then I'm gonna do three on the bottom again and I'm gonna do them the same way, where I start in the middle and then go up. And I go on top and below. 
And we're going to put one more on there. Okay, so we took this card and we kissed it and we made this card. So I've used a different embossing folder than she did and a different um, designer series paper and some ribbon and I put my rhinestones in a little different place. So here's the one Claudia made and here's the one I made. Okay, get this down here. Let me see if anybody has any questions I can help with. Hi, Angie. Thanks for watching. Hi, Patricia. I love the others, too. <laughs> and Kay's here. Thanks for tuning in, ladies. I enjoy that you're making time to watch with me. All right. And then our last one is going to be a really fun birthday card. And this one I made. So the one we make tonight is going to look exactly like this one. <laughs> We're going to use the same color papers and everything for it, okay? So I've used a one and a half inch circle punch and I have stamped in memento ink and then colored with my blends. And again, this is a um, another piece of paper, designer series paper from that uh, Sunshine and Rainbows 6x6 six six designer series paper pack that's part of the Celebration Free Catalog. Okay, and we have this little sentiment, and this is a half inch by two inches on the Whisper White. And then I have colored these two images in these little birthday hats. You guys all know how to color, so um, this is the little birthday hat, and I did fancy cut that one. So we have this one here that we're going to color using the blend. Your blends, you get two, a light and a dark of each color for $9. And these are all the blends that I use to color this little guy and our party hats. So this is the Daffodil Delight and the Light Polished Pink and the Pool Party. And those are the three colors that I used on these hats. Okay. And then I used the same colors for the adder in all of these. I used a dark smoky slate to color his nose. And these have a little nib tip. And then they also have a brush tip. I mostly use my nib tip because it allows me to get in all these little teeny tiny wonderful spots with it. Um, I'm gonna use the Crumb Cake Light and color his belly or underside, I guess. And I'm just gonna color in some circular strokes because I want it to kind of look like it's almost furry in there. And that's gonna give us more of that kind of a look to it. And again, you want to have scrap paper underneath. And you could um, color these before you punch them out if you want to. But see how it's bleeding through to my scrap paper and through the back of my paper? So, you don't want to be doing that on your card base. I'm going to do the same thing up here. Just kind of give it a little bit of an outline and then color inside. I did a lot of coloring when I was in Virginia visiting my granddaughter. She loves to color, so. And she actually told me that you don't really need to color inside the lines. Sometimes when she's feeling a little sassy, she colors outside the lines. <laughs> I thought that was very cute, and apparently from her coloring, she feels a little sassy a lot, and I can relate to that because sometimes you got to be a little sassy and color outside the lines. Just a little bit, right? <laughs> okay, so now we have this piece of paper, which is two inches by 
five inches, okay? And let's bring our cut and emboss machine back in here. And we're gonna use the um, splatter embossing folder. So this one kind of looks like water almost, I think. So we're gonna open it up and put our paper inside there. It's hard to get this one right so you can see it because it is so big. So for this one, because it is a 3D embossing folder, we're gonna use our number one plate. We're gonna put our embossing folder in hinge first. And then we're gonna put a number four plate on top of it and put that through. And you have, in case you don't remember this, what your little sandwiches are each time you go to use them, you have pictures right here. Let me get this out of the way so I can share it with you. You have pictures right here on your main plate. And they tell you just what your sandwich is for whatever you're trying to do. Okay? So... I'm going to start off with my, my card base is going to be white, and this is the five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter, and then just burnished there on our score line so we get that really nice crisp fold to it. And then this piece is five and a quarter by four, which is your basic layering piece meaning that when your card base is gonna be, your card base is five and a half by four and a quarter. We wanna come down a quarter of an inch for that top layer that's gonna go on, or our first layer. Make sure my card's opening in the right direction. And I'm gonna put this right on And then for this, I want this piece to go right on top of here like this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put tape on the bottom of this piece and on the top of this piece so that it'll be right where I want it to be. So I'm going to go on the bottom of this piece with my Stampin' Seal. Getting a little finicky today. And then on the top of this piece with my Stampin' Seal. Okay, so I'm going to lay this piece on there, and I'm going to put it so I have just that little eighth of an inch all the way around it. I'll get it over here so you guys can see it a little bit. And then I'm going to put this on top of it, and I'm just lightly holding it there until I get it exactly where I want it. And just lightly holding it so that I can move it around. Okay, and then I'm gonna press them together. So now we have these two pieces ready to go on top of here. All right, and I'm gonna actually pop these guys up. I think it's fun to give it a dimension. So I'm gonna bring my dimensionals in here cut some of these from the edges because it is a kind of big piece so we don't and we don't want to waste anything we want as little in our landfills as we can possibly get so I always try and use what's around the edges anything I can we don't want to waste and I'm just gonna put that around the outside there it all the way around and I am going to put some in the middle too because I don't want that middle to go flopping in anywhere and that is also going to be where my um, otters are going to be so we want them to be really supported in there so throw a couple of these on there too your dimensionals are a great deal you get three sheets like this in one package so you get lots of them so don't be afraid to use them. Let's 
always the name of the game is using it. So you're using one color cardstock for this and one pack of designer series paper, one pack of ribbon. Okay. And then we're gonna take these three little guys. And I think I'm gonna put them on dimensionals too. What the heck, they'd be fun popped up there, wouldn't they? So let's get some, some dimensionals on there. All right, and I'm just gonna kind of place these. I have two of them that have the same image. So I'm gonna place them here. I wanna kinda of put my words down there. So I know I, I'm sure that I've left plenty of space for them. And then this one's the kind of one in the water. So we used two different images. Okay, so now I've got them placed right where I want them. And then I'll just kinda of put them on. I'm gonna do my two at the sides first because I think it will be easiest to line up my middle one if my two on the edges are lined up and straight. It's kind of hard to do this upside down, but I think I've got it. <laughs> All right, and here's our third guy. Got a little bit of a hair in there. There we go. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put some stamp and seal on the back of my words. And put those in there. And then I'm gonna put my, because my birthday hats are a little bit small, I'm just gonna put glue dots on the back of them. And you can actually add a birthday hat just to this fancy gorgeous paper if you wanted to they're they're just so pretty i have two pink ones and one yellow so i'm gonna do pink here yellow here and pink here i don't want it over his face though <laughs> So we'll pop them back a little bit there. Okay, and then I am going to bring my rhinestones in. And I'm gonna take these medium ones and put them right on the pom-poms. So they're just like the pom-pom of the birthday hat. And it'll be a little sparkly. I'm not sure why this one is down like that. There we go. Okay, and I bet you guys can guess what's next, right? Some of that gorgeous pool party ribbon and a bow. I like to leave my ribbon attached to the spool when I'm making my bow, and that way I tend to waste the least amount of ribbon that way. So we'll give this one a little bunny ear bow. And I want it just a hair smaller, just a tad. All right, and we'll get a little trim here and one there. Okay, and I'll bring my glue dots in. Put a little glue down on the back of my bow and put my bow right in there. Okay, so we have this great card made with the adders, which again is the free stamp set with the minimum $50 purchase. And then this one and this one. 
So you've got the, the same cardstock that we use, the same ribbon, and the same accessory, those iridescent jewels for all three cards, okay? And you also, I'm gonna point the things out when I bring these cards back in for my card class. And I'll, I'll, set, I'll put a registration up for my card class when I'm done here. So you can again see, I'm gonna follow that same pattern for all of these cards. We're gonna use the um, Sunshine and Rainbows Designer Series Paper. And we're gonna use this really wide silver ribbon and then our iridescent uh, gems. So we've used them on that card, this card, and this card. So when you come to class, I'm gonna share with you how to make the most from all of the products that you're gonna want to order, okay? And some little tricks with the things that you can do with those products. So this is the rainbow class. And again, you can sign up for January 22nd or 23rd from one to four. Hi, Adrian. I'm glad you got to watch us. I really like the otter. I think it's an absolutely adorable set. Oh, thanks, Kay. I'm glad you like the cards. So this is going to be our second class. And this one is going to be the Hello Ladybug. And again, we're going to be using the black and white paper and these little black matte dots for this class. So you have this card. And then this card and then this one and we'll be doing two of each of these three cards so you'll make six cards in total class is completely free with a minimum $25 order for each class and um, you can just pay $15 if you don't want to place an order so this one we're gonna be using this floral designer series paper some twine and then these little clear epoxy drops and we'll use those on all three cards and this one again has that fun little fold to it and this one is called in the moment we're going to use some of this designer series paper for her clothes here and again if you can see i've used a little bit of the um shimmery crystal effects this one so that you can see like her barrette and her coffee cup have kind of that little shimmery, let's see if I'm going the right way with this, that, that kind of glass texture or look feel to the top of it there. And then this third one. Okay, and again, we've used that shimmery effects on her glass here and the twine, some of the same designer series paper, and then our little bobble there. So these are the three classes you can take, one, two, or all three of them. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. I'm glad that you were here watching me. And all right, Adrian, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye, everyone.